What's going on YouTube? My name is Genies, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys know the deal, we are rocking out in ranked double battles with this Drift Blim team, trying to get some wins with it. I'm actually hyped to use it considering nobody really uses Drift Blim. I never saw him on the ranked ladder before, so we're going to try to get some wins with this off meta squad and get rolling with it. But guys, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, thank you for all the support. We are almost at a thousand subs. Thank you guys so much much rocking in the front spot for this double scene is Corviknight and Corviknight is going to be working here and there it kind of like depends if you want to go with Dripwin or Corviknight it's one or the other because they're both your tailwind Pokemon to start setting up and get going then we have this Duraludon Duraludon is probably going to come with all of our teams he's just such a good special attacker and he's just a beast in this game so we're going to be keeping him probably on most of the squads he's rocking Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt and Dark Pulse for potential flinches then we got Conkador over here as a physical attacker right here with close combat fire Fire Punch, Rock Slide, and Mach Punch with Iron Fist as his ability to give his punch moves a little bit more damage and Expert Belt to boost super effective damage. Then we also have this Fish as our physical attacker with Choice Band with Crunch, Vicious Ren, which is probably the move we will always use with him because it's just so good and so dominant in today's rank ladder. Like, you cannot just not use it. He has Ice Fang and Psychic Fang also to rock out with. Then we got this Drift Blim, who I'm hugged to use for. We have Strength Sap with it to lower physical attack and regain some health. Shadow Ball for stab damage. Tailwind to set up the speed for the team. And Willow Wisp for the burn. Rocking in the final spot, we have Toxtricity here with Overdrive, Protect, Sludge Bomb, and Boom Burst. Has a lot of multi-hit moves, and he is Life Orb, so he can do some extra damage. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, front the code is at the bottom of the screen. Try it out. Let me know how you do with it. If you win some, lose some, I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Also, let me know for a question of the day, what Pokemon do you think should be in Super Smash Bros. next? Because they're going to have to add another one, whether it's in the next Smash or in the DLC. And I want to get you guys' feedback see who you guys think it should be i think maybe like scissor or skeptile in there i think it would be cool to get skeptile in there considering he's one of my favorite and we already have a fire starter and a water starter with greninja and incineroar so why not throw in skeptile in there but guys let's rock out with this driftwind team and try to get some wins on the rank ladder little bit of drought slash rain squad going out here who are we gonna lead who are we gonna lead i'm definitely bringing in that drift blim he has electric seed so i say we're going with that toxicity too because like depending on who he leads it could be good if he goes for the drought squad we can dump it if he goes for the rain squad we can also dump it so let's go in with that drift blim try to trigger that electric seed to boost the defense here going with that toxicity and then in the back we gotta bring that drought on hands down and then who do we go into i think fish could be good totally fish fish is a beast here with fish's rend super effective the four of those pokemon if, if they're not bringing those fire pokemon then we'll just change the move up going to like a crunch or something with our strong jaw but guys if you want to catch more content from me head in link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch we stream four plus days every single week we were just doing viewer battles it was so much fun a lot of people came out there we battled it up you guys should definitely come out hang out with me battle with me it'd be awesome it'd be awesome who's he gonna lead is it he goes in with a round on pelper does a little curveball at me does a little curveball at me Okay, I see. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. Do I trigger the electric seeds? Like, I want to, but then I don't want to. It's like a half and half kind of thing. The drizzle does pop here. The drizzle does pop. And what is he going to go for? We're going with our tailwind. We're going to go with our tailwind right off the bat. And then do we go for an overdrive? Overdrive could be good. Overdrive could be good. Hmm. Do we go for a boom burst? Boom burst could also be good. Nope. I think best best play is going to be Overdrive. Knock down that Pelper to his Sash. And then that Duraludon is going to protect. That's that's totally fine by me. That is 100% fine by me. He's going to try to get his Tailwind set up. Don't you know? He does not know. He does not know that Drift Blim also rocks Tailwind, which is lovely. Gold Drift Blim looks awesome. Duraludon protects that Overdrive. And Pelper's going to either go down or Sash up. Let's see it. Sash up. He's going to Sash up. He got his Tailwind off. He kind of did his job. He did his job already. I don't know if I should trigger the seeds or just save me. Or, or if I should just save myself. Save my Dynamax there. But oh my god, the shiny Drifflin looks amazing. It looks amazing. Also, guys, you guys know the deal. If you want to, only if you want to, send me some rental codes. You guys should definitely do it. Send me rental codes in the comment section down below. I would love, love to use your guys' team. Oh, this is a tough situation. Um, This is what we're going to do. We're going to go Shadow Ball over on you. And then we're just going to overdrive out. Yeah, if you guys do have rental codes, leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to see your guys' team use them up and all that good stuff. Just leave me a list of the Pokemon. Tell me if it's doubles or singles. And then, if you have the EV spread, send that in as well. Let's go. We do some damage. Pelper goes. No need. We're, we're not even going to Dynamax our Toxtricity now. There's no need to. He's kind of low on health. He's on one. Who's, who's the Duraldon going after? 
Who are you going after, Groudon? Okay, you take out my Toxtricity. That's fine. That is fine. We're going to be able to get off a Shadow Ball here. Do a little bit of damage. Potentially lower his special defense, right? Is that what does? Special defense or special attack? One or the other. It would be nice. Let's get some work done. Lower the stat. Oh, no. He pulls out the berry. Not the berry, guys. Not the berry. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We still have a gold balloon on the field, so you know we're in the lead. Uh, do we go fish? We could totally go fish. We could totally go fish here. Who do I think he's bringing out? We do work on, like, all these Pokemon. No, he's bringing out the what's it called. You know exactly who he's bringing out. He's bringing out the Ludicolo. You're not going to bring the Pelper and not the Ludicolo. He brings out the Nine Tails, man. My fish would have been rocking out here. My fish would have been wonderful out here. We could have Max Geyser just take out that drought. Man. So he, he went with the Charizard. So he's going Charizard Nine Tails. Threw me off a lot, actually. Pretty smart play by him. He's going to go in with the Charizard. He floats in the air with a balloon. And we could always strength that, or we can get a burn off. Um, hmm. I'm going to make sure this Duraldon goes out, to be honest. To be honest, I'm going to make sure this Duraldon does go out here. We could go in with a Dragon Pulse. Hmm. Dragon Pulse or Dark Pulse? I mean, Dragon Pulse is stabbed, so we're going to go in with the, uh, the Dragon Pulse just to finish off this Duraldon. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be very... Mm. Mm -hmm. This smart cookie. This smart cookie. <laughs> nice play by him to go into that protect. The Duraldon's going to take some nice hits here. The Dragon Pulse is going to get blocked, dude. This smart guy right here. Very, very smart. We're going to have to change the weather up. We are going to have to change the weather up here. Wow, dude. What a play by him. Got to give him credit. Got to give him credit. But his Tailwind Pokemon is gone. The so Tailwind will end next turn. And hopefully my Drift Bone can get it set up. And we can punk after this Charizard. Not even going to lie. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Flamethrower comes out. Gonna take out my Duraludon. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's tough. That is tough. Right, we're gonna slap up on this Nine Tails after this. Dragon Pulse comes out. Oh, we're not sitting good. We still have a chance. Our defense is through the roof. Look at that. Eat up. Eat up all day. Shadow Ball pops. We should be able to take him out with our next Shadow Ball. No, that's fine. I think I'm gonna Dynamax go into a Max Geyser. I have to change the Drought. I have to change the Drought. Tailwinds go out. We are going to start to outspeed. My fish should go first. We're going to change the weather here. Get the weather changing. No more flamethrowers coming through for the nine tails. We're going to do poo-poo damage. We're going to come after. We're going to get after this. So we're going to go tailwind here. I'm not too worried about that. Though. I really am not. But we have to Dynamax. The weather has to go. Even though Dracofish is not that good of a Pokemon in Dynamax form, the weather has to go because he's going to run it with Charizard if we don't change the weather. In that solar power, Charizard is one of the best Pokemon when it's in a drought. Like, hands down. You guys seen that. I used it multiple times on my stream, multiple times in video. It literally just one taps out. It doesn't even matter if he's using a fire move. His air stream will do it. His overgrowth will do it. It's just domination. But my fish, I think my fish will go first here. And change up that weather, which will be nice because then we can set up the tailwind and just roll out from there. We can totally just roll out from there. And we'll just start throwing max geysers out on that left side. Because if he wants to swap with the Charizard, we'll do damage there. And if not, then, then the nine tails will take the hit. <laughs> okay, solar beam's gonna pop. Hopefully that doesn't do too too much damage. I think we, we should be chilling here. I really th do think we're chilling here, especially because we're Dynamax. Should be able to eat up a little bit more. Yeah, see? Wow, spicy. Easy. Easy. Max Geyser comes out here. It's not going to kill it because it is in a drought. It's going to decrease its water damage, but it's going to take out the weather. Even better. Even better. It takes him out, and we get that rain rolling. No, Charizard Poo Poo. We get the crit. That's fine. Let's go. Big crit coming out. Big, 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 big crit. Golden Balloon is running things right now. Look at our de defensive tank in that Drift one, which is huge. Dragon Pulse is going to come out here. Oh, we survived that. We survived that all day. So the Tailwind's going to come here. The Tailwind is going to come here. Um, what do I think the call is going to be? This is going to be tough. I know he's, he has Protect on his, uh, on his Duraludon. I said we just go after his Charizard. Do we think this Charizard has Protect? Or it might Dynamax and go into the Max Guard. Hmm. I think this, we're going to, we're going to go one into the Duraludon. And we're going to Geyser out here over on the Charizard. Because if we can get the Geyser on the Charizard, we're fine. And if we get the Shadow Ball on the Duraludon, they're dead. So it's... If we hit one of them, they're dead. Let's see what happens here. He's going to Dynamax who? That's the question. Are you going to Dynamax the Charizard? We should be able to outspeed a fish with the Tailwind. Or say Charizard without the Tailwind. Right? Is it Charizard? It's a Duraludon. Okay, so he Dynamaxes the Duraludon. Is he going to guard? He might guard here. He might guard here. This is, is going to be a close one. I think it's going to come down to the wire. Let's see. Because he's going to take out my fish. Let's go. We go first. He is okay. Charizard gone. Charizard should be gone. We might have this one. 
Charizard is gone. He's going to take out my fish. You are going to take out my fish. And hopefully the Shadow Ball can do some work. But who goes first? Does Drifling go first? That's beautiful. We got this game sealed. We got this game sealed. That one's just take him out. Beautiful. Beautiful Drifling for the win. Just surviving that whole time. Just surviving that whole time and eating up. That is how you get it done. I'm a fan of this team. I'm a fan of the Golden Balloon team. Golden Balloon. That's what I was trying to say. But I'm a fan of it. Let's get rolling into the battle number two. Not going to lie. Why isn't more people using Drifling? Drifling is awesome. It's a great lead. Really good lead. He's probably going to go in with that Whimsicott. And the Snow Warning Vanellix. I think that is exactly who he's going to go into. We're going to go into our Drifwind to kind of counteract his, what's it called? His Tailwind. So we're going to go in with our Tailwind. Uh, who do we lead? I mean, Ice. Hmm, what, are, what will do good against that Ice? What will do good against that Ice? I'm trying to think. I, I don't want to. I want to bring Duraldon in the back end. Duraldon is so good. Drifwind and Duraldon is like the heart of this team. We're always probably going to be bringing them in. Do we bring Fish here? No, they have Storm Drain. They have Storm Drain. I can totally see him going in with that. Um, I'm going to bring in my Toxtricity. Not, do we bring Toxtricity in the front? Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring Toxtricity right early on in the front. The Raudon in the back. And then one more pick. It's probably going to be our Conkledor here. Because I don't want to bring that fish if you Storm Drain. Then that, that takes out like two of our Pokemon here. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be bringing in our Conkledor here. Conkledor will be a nice little pick. With that Mach Punch, we have first turn priority with it. Let's see if we can go 2-0 and oh so far. We're 1-0 with it. Driftblown rocked out pretty strong. Pretty strong. Was able to soak up some hits. Set off those Tailwinds. Help us out in later rounds too. And we beat a Charizard team, which is nice. Which is just awesome. Which is just awesome. Come on, baby. Who you leading? Who you leading? Probably Wimscott Vanellix. Wimscott Vanellix. Let's see it. Vanellix and Dragapult. Okay. Okay, so he's going to set the Snow Warning. Probably go for an Aurora Bell. Probably go for an Aurora Bell. We're going to get this Tailwind up. And I think the th I think this Tailwind will be huge for us. Considering he's not going to have one. The Snow Warning pops out. Not the Snow Warning. And do we pump into an Overdrive? I kind of want to set off the Seeds. I really do kind of want to set off the Seeds. But instead of Shadow Ball, we're just going to go into the Tailwind. And I honestly think that... Uh, uh, will Boom Burst be better? No, nah, Boom Burst will not be better. Let's just go for an Overdrive here. But I honestly think that Dragapult is going to go down into a Phantom Force or Dynamax. Either or. Let's see what happens. There's the Dynamax. There is the Dynamax. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say. He's either dropping down or he's going into a Dynamax. Okay. So this is going to pop out here. No ice cream cones. No, Not a shot. Your Dynamax and your ice cream cones. <laughs> you don't want big ice cream cones. You just want the light amount of ice cream. That is how you enjoy it. But he's going to go first. Who's he going to go after? My Blim? Oh, you dare go after my... Actually, go after my... Oh, dude. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is actually lovely that we get that off. Yeah, he goes for that max card. We can get our Tailwind up. We get our Tailwind up and start doing some work. Do we Strength Sap him? Do we think that, that Dragapult is a physical attacker? I kind of do. The Roar Veil is up. It's going to help out the team tremendously. Tremendously, not even going to lie. Uh, our Tailwind's going to get going. Our Tailwind is going to get rocking out here. I mean, do I Punk out? No. I was I was going to Dynamax. I was going to Dynamax my Toxtricity. Like, I'm thinking about it. I'm on the edge because we have those Electric Seeds, which will boost our defense when Electric Terrain pops. And I just don't think it's a good call. Get the Tailwind. We're going to go for a little Shadow Ball on you. And then another Overdrive. Hmm. Or we'll boom it now. Let's just go for an Overdrive or Sledge Bomb. I think we can take out the Vanellix with a Sledge Bomb. Let's see how much Overdrive does. Let's go for a Sledge Bomb. Right on this Vanellix. We're going for it. Stab, 90. Ice Charge is going to pop. You're going to miss. Oh, no, you're hitting him. Oh, you weakness policy, though? Ooh-wee. A little bit of weakness policy action. A little smart play by him. He's going to take out whoever he goes after now. Find my Toxtricity. Oh, my Toxtricity goes first. Yeah, you can take my Toxtricity now. You can take him now. Oh, we do not take out, though. We do not take out, though. That was close. Who are you going to take out? Oh, no, not my boy. Not my gold balloon. Not on National Free Balloon Day. <laughs> not on National Free Balloon Day. But it's good to know that my Toxtricity will go before that, uh, that Dragapult. It will be the fastest in that Tailwind. Now, who do we bring out here? Who do we bring out here? Do we bring out the Conkledor? Conkledor doesn't work. <laughs> Against that Ben Alex. I don't want to bring out you. Let me see your speed. Let me see your speed, Duraldon. The 145. Oh my god, Duraldon's going to be the fastest on the field. We're going to take out that Dragapult. Can you see him going for a max guard? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. The Raldon is getting that Dynamax. Raldon, you're getting that Dynamax. National Free Balloon Day went down. It's fine. We're chilling here. Um, did we go for the Wormwind? Yeah. Yeah, Wormwind's a call. Let's go. Wormwind on you. And then a little bit of a... Uh, I said we just rock out into an overdrive here. Just in case we got to do a little bit more damage to that Dragapult. That's fine. But the Fanalex will go down here. 
But the Vanellix did do its job by getting off that Aurora Bell. It's kind of what it's for. Kind of what it's for to get that hail going into that Aurora Bell. Because Aurora Bell is like a Reflect and a Light Screen mix. There goes our Dynamax. We will outspeed. We will outspeed that Dragon Bolt. Which is nice, because my Toxtricity outsped that, and my Throwdown is way fast. Well, not way faster. It's faster than my Toxtricity. Let's go, big boy. Big Throwdown. Big boy. Big Steel City right here. Let's go. Take him out. Or is he going to go for the guard? He's not going to go for the guard. He's like, probably like, boy, you outspeed us. Yeah, we're in the tailwind, boy. You do not take him out. That is tough. This thing is a tanky little boy. If that thing takes out my Throwdown, I'm going to be kind of mad. But we do drop its attack, so hopefully they are physical attacking. I think it's clear body though. But Alex goes down. Dragapult survives in the red. We just gotta eat up a hit. Because we still have that tailwind for one or two more turns. Max just is gonna lose some HP, but that life orb's huge. Max Wormwind's gonna pop. Come on, the round on. He you Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, it's not super effective. But he did have the weakness policy, which is tough. The attack's gonna fall. I can totally see him going into a max guard. Not even gonna lie. Like a hundred percent I can see it. Buffett's gonna do some work on everybody around on the field. Yep, eat that Dragon Bolt. It's gonna do a teensy bit. Now I know Duraldon's the fastest. And I know Toxicity goes second. But I think Toxicity can take out. Oh, mm, never mind. I was gonna go for an overdrive. Actually, do I go for an overdrive still? Do I still go for an overdrive? Yes. I think I do. I think I still go for an overdrive. And I come across to that Max Steel Spike, maybe? Nope. Max Wormwind probably over on the Gastrodon. Yeah, stab Max Wormwind on the Gastrodon. And then I think Overdrive comes in clutch. I think Overdrive will take out that uh, Dragapult. And I know we'll outspeed because we are in the Tailwind. Okay, let's get it. There goes the Wormwind. Hopping off on that Gastron. Trying to do as much damage as we can. See, not bad, not bad. We did our job. We got rid of that Dragapult. Now my Toxtricity should outspeed here. And we're going to drop the attack, but Gastron special attack. And Overdrive pops. Does not affect Gastron. I know that. But it is going to take out this Pult, which is wonderful. We got the Pult. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. This Toxtricity is rocking out, actually. Absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Doing very well. Doing very well with this team. Gastron's going to take out my Toxic Boy. Not the Toxtricity. And it rolls out to a little bit of... Is it 2v1? Who did we take out so far? We took out the Pult. We took out the Vanellix. I think it's a 2v2 here. And I think Tailwind's gone. But I know the Gastron's going to go last. I know the Gastron's going to go last. We have our Conkledor in here. Rather scary. Who is his last Pokemon? And when does Peter out, that is scary. Get in here, Conkledor. I think it's a 2v2. I think he kind of has the advantage. But we have one more turn left in our uh, Roudon. It goes into his Corviknight. We have Lightning. We can't go for the Lightning. Do we double that Corvo? Do we double on the Corvo? We're going for the Max Lightning, hands down, on that Corviknight. Rock Slide could be good. Rock Slide could be good. I say we do go into Rock Slide. Potentially get some flinches out here and get rolling from there. What's the Corbin not going to do? Hopefully he doesn't go into a Protect. That would be the smart call. I don't think... He probably knows that we have Max Lightning, but we didn't show it yet. We did not show it. So hopefully we can just do some work, because this thing is a defensive tank. Yes, he does not go for a Protect or anything. And we're going to do some work here. Boom! Nice little damage there. Get that terrain up. Terrain doesn't really do much, but the Rock Side's going to come up big here, too. I wonder what he's going to do. i got to watch out for that Corbinite. Hopefully my Conqueror goes before. That Brave Bird might be able to one-tap me. Oh, you lucky biscuit. You lucky biscuit. We got to get that Corvo out the way. We have to get the Corvo out the way. No, the Brave Bird. No, not the Brave Bird. That's scary. Eat it, buddy. Yes, sir. Okay, we eat that. He's going to do some recoil damage. And the Rock Side's going to come out here. Can we flinch that Gastron? That would be huge. That would be huge if we could flinch that Gastron. Because we know who the fastest on the field is. No, he gets the Earth Power off. No. No. That is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. GG to this guy. That was a good game. Match two. We will take the L for that one. We go one and one with this squad now. Unless something magical happens. Unless something magical happens. Guys, I was streaming, doing multi-battles with viewers. My Paralyzed triggered three times in a row. Like, it was one of the craziest things ever. Like, three times in a row, what are the odds? Like, what are the odds? To lose the match, too. It was it was pretty funny, not even going to lie. Uh, Mach Punch might have to come out here. I mean, we can hope for a crit and hope for maybe he misses us. Let's see, Mach Punch comes through. Get him! Nope, does not take him out. Brave Bird comes out and GG to this guy, like I said. One on one with this squad. We're gonna hop into battle number three and try to get a winning record. I really do like this squad, though. I really do love that Drift Balloon. The Golden Balloon. Golden Balloon with that Duraldon. They work out very, very well. We just didn't really have the matchup this game.
It's time, guys. Let's get that winning record rolling. This guy is rocking a Grimmsnarl, a double dragon with the Hydreigon and the Dragon Pole. He has the Toxtricity. We have the Toxtricity mirror matchup, the Barrascuda, and that Chandelure. We're going to go in with, in with the Blim. The Blim is coming out here. Hands down, Blim. Do we go with the Fish? Fish is a good call. I kind of want to set off those uh, electric, electric Seeds. I feel like that could be good. Let's roll here, them two. We're going to be bringing in the Fish into Raladon. I think that is just a great call here. I feel like that's just a great call. Let's get rocking out here. He is probably going to go Grimmsnarl, maybe Chandelure in the front spot, or Grimmsnarl and a Dragon. I see him bringing both Dragons, Grimmsnarl, and probably that Chandelure. Actually, maybe not the Chandelure. Maybe, actually, yeah, I think he's going to lead the Chandelure. Or the Barrascooter. The Barrascooter could be good. But I think he's going to go Grimstar, Double Dragon, and then Barrascooter. Barrascooter, I think, is going to be the final call. The Barrascooter is just so good. It's probably rocking close combat to take out my Duraludon and all that. So, just got to watch out for it. Just got to watch out for it. But I'm ready. I'm loving this team, actually. Drift Blim is awesome. I loved it when it got introduced in Gen 4. Like, it was so cool. It was so cool. It was just like a little balloon Pokemon. Then it evolves into the Blimp. It goes balloon to Blimp. It's dope. It's dope. Let's go. Is this guy going to pick? He's having a tough time. I'm in his head. I'm in your head, little boy. <laughs> I also love Barrascooter's tail, how it's like a little propeller and just spins. Pretty dope. It is pretty dope. Let's rock out here. Let's get it. Dude, my trainer card is so much better than this guy's. Like, jeez. He doesn't have an OG outfit. <laughs> well, let's get this win. Let's get this win. Ladies and gentle fish. I love in Spongebob when they say that. Ladies and gentle fish. <laughs> Barrascooter's going to pop. Uh, I don't think we go into an overdrive. I say we Dynamax and set off these seeds. I say we Dynamax and set off these seeds. Get the Tailwind rolling. Because you know that Dragon Pulse going to come after my uh, my Blimp. My little Blimp Pokemon. What other Pokemon is he rocking? Who he could swap into to eat up that electric shot. I mean, once we get this Tailwind off, we're chilling. Let's do it. Let's set off the seeds. Let's set off the seeds. He's going to swap out the Barrascooter. Hands down. He's going to outspeed and double into me. Let's see. Well, we're Dynamax. We're going to have some extra HP up in this. Up in this. But I could see him. If he Dynamaxes and doubles into me, that would be tough. That would be tough news. If I see us taking out his Barrascooter in one hit, we are life orb. Even if he does Dynamax, his Barrascooter. He's thinking, what's he going with? We're Dynamax here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Does that mean he's not switching out? I don't think he's switching out, unless the switch outs happen after Dynamax. Look at me, playing my guitar on my stomach. I love that. Look at him. Yeah! <laughs> he strums those little things on his chest. He's like, yes! But, how's this gonna work out here? Breaking Swipe's gonna come through. We eat all day. Oh, you can say bye-bye to the Barrish Our attack's gonna fall. Luckily, we were both special attacking. That's lovely. The Drill Run's gonna come through. Of course this thing's running drill run. Of course this thing is running drill run. Are you serious? Oh my god, I never use a parachute with drill run. That is nuts. That is nuts. Okay. Alright, I see it. I see this. Our Dynamax is gone. It's gone for. I'll never see it again. Um could rock out into a fish's friend. No, it's not really gonna do too too much. We're gonna rock out into our Dural down here. We have to go into a dragon pulse. Like, jeez, man. Are you kidding me? It just runs me with that drill run. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a drill run. Hands down, not a chance. We'll never see it again. Oh, uh, no. We are actually going to go into a little bit of a little bit of strength sap over on the Barrascooter. Then we're going to rock out into just a Dragon Pulse over on the Dragon Pulse and run it this way. Man, I want those electric seeds. I wanted them so bad. I just realized the Barrascooter looks French. Look at him real quick. Look at him. He has the little, the curly little stash at the end, and his face just looks French. Like, he just looks French <laughs> with the stash. <laughs> I can't unsee him. Like, I just want to put, like, that painter hat on him. Give him a piece of bread. <laughs> Aqua Jet's coming through. Go ahead. That's fine by me. We're strength sapping you up. We should be able to outspeed the Pulp. Yeah, we do outspeed the Pulp. Can we one-tap him? Uh, you... Do some damage. Take him out. Let's go. And the strength sap's going to come up clutch. It's going to come up clutch. Heal us up. Drop the Barrier Scooters. Physical attack, and he is a physical attacker, which is huge. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Give me all that health. Mwah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Show it up. Look at it all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Filled back to the brim. Overflowing with HP now. The battle shooter is the fastest on the field. And then it goes my Duraldon in this tailwind, which is lovely. Do I want to go into another strength set? We could. We could. The Drift Point's just rocking out here. It's totally rocking out here. 
man, I'm so mad that thing went into the drill run. The Sham Lord does pop. He's gonna go for a pop. A little bit of pop action. And how are we gonna rock out here? We can go Shadow Ball. Yeah, we're gonna take out you. You're going to take out you. Hmm. We got Dark Pulse. Okay, yeah, we're gonna double into the Chandelure here. And sound doubling into the Chandelure. I can see him potentially Dynamaxing. I can totally see a Dynamax come out here. Not even gonna lie. Look, dude, shiny drip I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. This looks so cool. I love when the shinies just look so different and so cool. Like, I hate the ones with just, like, a little tint and you can't even notice. It's like, dude, what is that? It's like, if you guys even put time into doing it, I love Chandelure's. I think Chandelure's is dope. It turns into, like, actual-looking flames instead of the blue flames, which just makes it look cool. I don't really know what Batter Scootus is. But here comes the Dynamax, like I said. Probably going with that Chandelure, because I hope you actually go Batter Scooter. That'll be a lot better for me. But we're doubling into that Chandelure, which is lovely. So, the Batter Scooter, he does! And he's minus one on the attack board, which is huge. Which is huge for us. I like that. I like it. I think he's going to go into a Max Quake. I think he's going to go into a Max Quake. Is that, the, is that the call? Oh, we go first. Come on, take this thing out. Give it a little tap up. Nice. Nice, Duralanon. Awesome. Awesome. We get a crit, baby. Know that. We get that crit. Hopefully, we can eat up this shot here. That would be lovely. Oh, we got Shadow Ball's going to go first. Nice little damage. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, we didn't get the drop. Here comes a Max Quake. I don't know if we're going to eat it. It's going to be a close one. We do. We do. And we're going to... Oh, does the Tailwind end? That's the question. The Tailwind doesn't end. We're going to outspeed and take that thing out. The special defense does raise. I can see it going for a max guard. But I'm only going to go in with my Duraludon. Because I know my Duraludon will outspeed. And when the Hydreigon comes out here, that thing could be choice guard. Show us that that Tailwind's still here. Yes, it should be here. Last turn. Last turn with that Tailwind. We're going to go in with the... Uh, the Shadow Ball over on the... I'm going to go with the burn. I'm going to go with the burn over on the Hydreigon. I'm going to get that burn rolling, and I'm going to go in straight for a T-Bolt on the Sparrow Scooter to try to take it out. Is he going to go for that Max Guard? I can totally see that happening. I can totally see the Max Guard popping out. Oh, my Lord. It's coming down. It's coming down. We have our fish in the back. Fish is very nice. Let's see. T-Bolt. We do have speed. Take him out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Duraldown comes up clutch. We're going to get this burn off, and then the Hydreigon is going to take out our... Uh, our Duraldon. So we have the fish. It's going to be a 2v1 situation for the winning record. The burn gets off. Dude, Drift Blim is so good. So good. It's a tank, too. He hasn't really been going after me. Well, he did. We just strut sat back up. Like, we can eat up hits and all that good stuff. And are you going Oh, you going after my Drift Blim? Look at that. We'll eat that up all day. We'll eat that up all day. We got that burn. You want my Duraldon here? You want my Duraldon here? Our Tailwind Peter's out. We're going to go for a Tailwind. And then into a, uh, a Dragon Pulse. Trying to finish this match up. Dragon Pulse coming at you, boy. For the win. For the win. He's going to outspeed us probably for this turn, I think. Hydreigon's rather fast. But this Duraldon's with a pretty speedy set on him. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Hydreigon goes for Dark Pulse. Who are you taking out here? You're going to take out my Duraldon. That's fine. That is totally fine. We'll set up this Tailwind and our Fishes Friend. Actually, Fishes Friend might not do too much work. Considering it is, uh... I don't think it's not... I think it's not very effective. But still, we have other moves that we can just go into. Let's see. Let's go fish. We have we have Ice Fang with Strong Jaw. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. We should be able to outspeed this thing with the Tailwind. We should be able to outspeed it. Unless this thing is a like Choice Scarf and just boost it in the speed category. Uh, we're going to actually regain health here. Go for it with this Ice Fang. We're going to actually regain some health here. And Ice Fang does pop. Is it going to one tap? I think it will. It is winning record, baby. Two and one with this team. Hype, hype, hype. That Drifwind and the Raldon. Mwah. Mwah. Spicy little combo. I love it so much. Really rocks out and does very, very well. You guys can now put a check mark next to Driftwind for underrated Pokemon. Definitely rocked out. I love them so much. Like, it's like an opposite Jelly Scent. Like, Jelly Scent would rock that Strength Sap, that Shadow Ball, but instead of the Tailwind, it would rock a Trick Room. But this one rocks a Tailwind to give us that speed boost. And with that, the Raladon, this team was awesome and got us some wins. If you guys would like to use this team for yourself, friend, the code is at the bottom of the screen. Let me know how you do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon do you guys think is going to be in Smash Bros.? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.